so we are going to get started with our slash and spread method. The supplies you'll need is the half scale block top bodice. You'll also need pattern paper. You'll need a pencil, I prefer the mechanical, a ruler, grid ruler, some tape, and of course a small sheet of muslin. Some additional supplies that will be helpful to you is the half scale dress form, some optional supplies, some pattern weights, scissors for fabric, one for paper, some pins, snippers, curve ruler, French curve, a red pencil or any colored pencil in all. Those come in handy. Now first you're going to take that half scale dress uh, block and you're going to trace it out right around it. Okay, you want to make sure you get into all those grooves and kind of keep your hand there as a base that way you don't get slippage and it kind of moving all over the place as you're trying to trace it. I use my awl to sort of make an indentation that way I know exactly where that uh, dart is going to start or end rather. Once you're done with that, you so after you're done tracing, you need to go to that bust dart area and create your first slash line. And that line is the center front waist. And I just reinforce it with the red and label it A and B for those other dart legs. And that's just going to help me figure out where those folds are going to be. So after we're done with that, we need to then go on to actually cutting out our block. So I just go around and I cut around the edges. I made a slight point at the end of my dart there at the waist area and that way it's just a little bit easier for me to sort of fold over. So you want to make sure you're using paper scissors that way you don't ruin your fabric scissors or make them dull. So you want to make sure that you are using the appropriate materials when you're doing these sorts of projects. So we kind of move that out of the way. All right, so what are we doing next? So next, I want to go in and actually cut into that slash area. Okay, not going too deep into that point, but just deep enough. Then I'm going to go and I'm going to connect that A point to the B point and just put a little piece of tape there. So you can already see how I've, I've slashed and spread and sort of moved that dart from where it was to the center. I take some excess pattern paper and I'm going to use this to glue so I can have some of my uh, seam allowance within the dart. So I kind of just glue everything down in the back and I place it on top of the excess pattern paper and just make sure all those edges are nice and glued down so that way it's a little bit easier for you to cut. Okay, I then go in and I just add that uh, Normally in the actual full scale, that's going to be a uh, five eighths down and it's going to be about a half inch seam allowance, I believe. But obviously this has to be modified because it's half scale. So I think I went in at about an eighth or, or less than that. It's very small seam allowance that I made here for just the um, instruction. You should go to the blog, which is in the link, and it'll give you the exact measurements for a full scale. And I do believe there I also have the measurements for a half scale, but I do believe it's about an eighth. So I just go in and I give myself that internal seam allowance for my dart. Once I'm done, I cut around, get rid of some of that excess, and I just cut all that extra stuff off there just leaving enough seam allowance within it. I also go in and with my, once again, uh, paper scissors, I just cut out the excess paper within the dart, but I make sure I do not cut into my seam allowance. Okay, and right there, you can already see that I have my dart with the seam allowance added and I connect it. And here you're clearly able to see sort of the curvature in the dart and how it's going to be someplace else. But let's let's test this out by putting it on actual piece of uh, fabric muslin. So there I have it spread out. I'm going to fold it in half. You also have the option of just creating a one inch or half inch uh, seam allowance to the front so you only do one side. I use my pattern weights to just go in and retrace everything over. Okay, I like to reinforce those lines with my ruler as well as the French curves to get nice clean curves around each spot. Uh, I do my seam allowance around every area 
So I have that. Those measurements are also on the blog. Um, I go in and split that dart in half so it's easier to fold and I add the additional seam allowance that I'll have to cut off a little bit later. And there you have it. Ignore that little mark there. That's just like me trying to preserve scraps. So it's like these little random marks, but it has nothing to do with the pattern. So I go in and just like I did on my pattern paper, I go in and I connect those darts and those dart points. I use my pins and I just go in there and I pin with those pins facing outward so they're nice and easy to take out. And I smooth that out and then we're gonna go on and see what this looks like once it's all sewn up and we have had the dart placed on the other side and there it is. There are a slash and spread method and we've created two center front darts and they're nice, clean, stylized darts.